over here. Yeah. And we're back. So Hi. this is the before and after for A Star is Born. Maybe it's time to let the old ways down. Directed by Bradley Cooper, produced by Bradley Cooper, written by Bradley Cooper. And it stars Lady Gaga as herself. So no crazy Lady Gaga makeup. So it's like, wow, that's what she looks like. Um, it's based off of a 1937 remake. No, that's the original. And it's been adapted. This is the third adaptation. It was a musical and all that stuff. So, so yeah, why are you here today? Well, I'm here because you. Yes. Um, but I've never been to an advanced screening, so I thought I'd take this opportunity. I need something to do after work. Yeah, that's true. Like sitting on my butt for another yeah. two hours yes. after sitting for eight hours. Yes, that's, um, that's always healthy. I want to see what Lady Gaga's like without the wig and the makeup. Yeah. <laughs> um, all the good stuff. Yeah, I mean, we'll see this guy. I mean, I mean it, I've been hearing really good things about it. Like, everyone's like really praising the movie, so. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's, just, it's, a, it's a song, love, romance film. So yeah. there's going to be some singing involved, some music. So I thought you would appreciate it because it's your musical. Um, yeah, anyways. But that's that's basically why we're here. And uh, we had a two weeks event screening. So that's always nice. Uh, thank you, Warner Brothers, for contests and all that stuff. Anyways, I do look forward to it. Uh, Bradley Cooper has been a solid actor. Lady Gaga, I haven't seen herself. I think David Chappelle's in this as well. And anyone else, I don't really know about. But um, it's a third time adaptation, so uh, hopefully they get everything right this time. And yeah, that's it. This is the before, and this is after. Here so, we are. what do you think? Well, um, I was just telling Sam that I thought it was pretty predictable at first, but then I guess after talking about it a little bit. Um, I think that the relationship between the two main characters in the movie um, was very relatable in many ways. Um, there are a lot of moments that were, I think, like they came off as very casual in the movie, like just, just stupid, like haha -ha moments, but that's what made the characters so relatable. Um, I love the music, it was super good. And I think overall, like they did a really good job of like, I guess, portraying the message of like fame and like, I'm out of words. You got what I mean, though. Okay. Well, first off, I, I really appreciate how they did the title card. Because, like, if we're going the alley and the, the, the words starting slowly, a star is... Like, they put effort into it. He's got I, real things to say. It's like, I feel like nowadays, title cards are so boring that they don't put any thought into it. They're just like, movie started, bam, here's the title, let's get it on. But here, yes. it's like... Like, maybe it's like a whole homage to the originals because I've never seen anything prior to this. But, but yeah, like, I like the song. Songs were great. Like, they were, they were done in a way where it's like, it pushes the narrative. It's not just a, let me sing a song because I feel like it. Yeah. Um, but rather, it's like, um, it, it goes well with the narrative because they're on tour, so they're singing. But then as the relationship grows, they're singing different songs that sort of, like, mirrors their relationship. And I, I really dug... Um, Bradley Cooper's and Lady Gaga's chemistry, they totally felt real. Yeah. Um, this is like a two hour-ish movie, and I think it feels long. But then when you realize how much they packed into it, it's like pretty pretty good for what they packed into it. Um, though granted, I would have cut it a lot shorter, maybe 20 minutes shorter, because I feel like it was like last push of just like, oh, sadness, and here's a good song. The song was great, but I just felt like... Oh yeah, so yeah, that's the payoff. Like, you want me, you want to keep the song, or do you want it to be less emotional? And and I wouldn't know what to pick. Um, but granted, you did say it was kind of corny, which I do want to bring up here because like I think romance movies now are so skewed because it's like we've been so saturated with like really bad romance, so that a lot of romance movies we see the trajectory and we know what's gonna go down. Like, okay, they fall in love really fast. And then something's gonna happen. They're gonna miscommunicate, and then break up, and then they're gonna make up, or or something good happens, bad happens. Like yeah. I think the same thing happened in Crazy Rich Asians, where there is this a miscommunication. But I feel like both here, A Star Is Born, and Crazy Rich Asians, the miscommunication is like a legitimate one, where it, it feels organic in the narrative. And granted, the one here is something you've seen a lot, like you know, like the the sort of rags to riches story and then the person who had less to begin with gets more and then jealousy and all that stuff that's been done and it's like done to death but i feel like here with their chemistry and the pacing and just all the characters around it, it just felt like an organic way and then i think the the ending sort of like 
pushed it even further as in like no there's more to this story because I think like where I want it to end I think it would have been much more happy go lucky and yeah. just like oh that's so cute like oh they made up and all that stuff but the real ending here was just like hard hitting and just like really yeah. pushed to like to see the growth that she went through and and though I really love the last shot where he, he sings the song yeah so was that was really, really great good. I really like that because yeah. I felt like if it was just a showcase of her singing the song it was good but then that la last tweak was just like him singing it and then she's like I love you for it and the kiss and then it ends and um, yeah I mean great job Bradley Cooper for the first time directing uh, first time directing it's just like the shots were great like nothing was kind of off the, the editing was good and overall pacing for a two hour ish film I don't exactly that don't know the exact minute count but it just felt long but it's like look where it ended and where it started that's a huge difference and they packed all these characters in it and even the side characters like her her buddy oh, yeah, her, yeah. like her dad and her and his buddies like they felt like just characters it's just like the guy with the mustache i forgot who he was yeah or like bradley cooper's oh his brother brother yeah so so yes. one one thing one thing though they don't use a lot of names in this movie don't like know. I don't. I didn't, I, I didn't even I, know her name was Allie till I saw a post. Exactly. I, I was like, all right, <laughs> what like, is her name? Up. I know Jack. <laughs> Jack. They keep saying, but Allie. Okay. But yeah. So I really enjoyed how it's more of a slice of life mm -hmm. where everyone's just for feels like a real person yeah. rather than I'm watching a movie. So that's always great for for writing. So I'm definitely curious to see like the other adaptations to see how they pulled it off. But anyways, overall, I mean, if you go in for Lady Gaga, it's just great. She she delivers sort of her message about like female empowerment. Like in the beginning, she punches the guy out because she's standing up for the dude, and yeah. it's not just like a female like I don't know feminist throw off thing, but it's more of an organic thing, and yeah. and, and it's not like too too heavy handed. It's just natural, and I really enjoyed that. And the songs are great, so there's gonna be a soundtrack for that. So definitely check out that. Also, if you like RuPaul's Drag Race, I encourage you to watch this because you get a oh, lot yeah. of that attitude, yeah, that was a lot fun. of that makeup and costuming. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, definitely yeah. that too. Like I haven't seen it, but but yeah, that was a great like great contrast to the rest really of the movie. Yeah. Sort of wish there was more of the drag stuff actually because yeah, <laughs> they were really fun characters and just they foil really well and then just like more attitude and just fun and it was a lot more funnier in the beginning than the. Three quarters of the film. Yeah. Like. The first quarter was a lot funnier, um, and it's just really great, just like jokes and um, yeah, good music and good music. So uh, that's all you need. Lady Gaga delivered, and it was good, good acting, and good directing, and uh, yeah, that's all. So uh, this is the before and after of A Star Is Born. Out. See ya.